Hey everyone, I hope we're doing great. Uh, I hope you guys had fantastic holidays. So I'm back in Atlanta to continue working on the C-17. And in this video, I'll continue working on the wings. There is still a ton of work on the wings and the fuselage as well. Also, we will start making the engine nacelles. Hopefully at the end of this video, we will have one or two motors mounted on the wings. All right, let's get to work. So these are the nacelles. We cut them out of foam on a five axis CNC. Usually I make the balance separately mounted on the wing with the motor mounted on it. And I make molds for the nacelle or for the cowling. And that can be removable with the intake uh, on it. But here we are trying to finish this plane quickly. So making them out of foam is the quickest way. I cut the structure inside it out of six millimeters plywood. Uh, this is actually going to support the balloon and uh, have a mount for the EDF. And the intake is a 3D printed. For the thrust tube, I'm going to make a mold and cast it out of carbon fiber. All right, this is the first nacelle. It's wrapped with carbon. I start from inside. From inside, this is the ADF mount and this intake is 3D printed. I overlapped the carbon on it. The body of the nacelle is covered with uh, one layer carbon, 200 uh, grams per square meter carbon fiber, and a second layer of 100 grams fiberglass. It makes it really smooth. The balloon itself is covered with three layers of carbon. Uh, it's actually very thin. This is two and a half centimeters and it's actually scale, the thickness of it. And of course I have this wood in here. This is five millimeters plywood that is uh, connected all the way to the EDF. So I have high hopes for this, that it's gonna be strong enough. The EDF is three and a half kilos, so there's some weight in here. And I finished only one for now because I wanna glue it on the wing and put the EDF in it and see if I need to add any extra layers in here to reinforce it, but hopefully not. If I need to, so I can add it to the uh, other three nacelles. And to install the ADF, I'm gonna cut a hatch in here like this, where I can take this part out, put the ADF and the thrust tube. The thrust tube uh, is gonna be molded, so I'm making, uh, I'm printing a mold for it, and it's gonna be made out of carbon fiber, so it's gonna be light. Hopefully I don't have to reinforce this, because, um, yeah, I have a good feeling about it. This video is sponsored by BCB Way. BCB Way offers the best custom BCB prototyping service with very affordable prices starting from only $5. 
They also offer CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. So if you're building a project and you don't have the equipment, they can actually do it for you and ship it within 24 hours. I am actually planning to use their CNC services to cut some bars for the C17 landing gear. If you want to learn more, check them out at pcbway.com. Alright, first one is glued in and it looks great. This is structural adhesive, it's actually very nice, but still I will add uh, like carbon tape, two layers of carbon here to reinforce this, just in case, I mean it doesn't need, it's actually super strong, it's lovely. And here are the wires for the EDF, I actually made a mess in here and I had to cut this because the channel inside was actually very small i could fish the first three wires for the second edf but i could not get these through so i had to cut that put the wires and i grew it back in it's not uh, bad and yeah this is looking good i will uh, do the other nacelles the exact same and the rest of the wing is actually ready uh, i split the flaps and now we've got two flaps the servos are installed with these ugly screws, but these are the only long screws we have. We need these to be really long, uh, but they are good. This is not going anywhere. This is actually great. This rod here is four millimeters rod, so very strong. Uh, second flap as well, same thing. Yeah, these servos are the industrial big servos. And this one here, the aileron, I used a uh, regular size servo. This is 46 kilograms. Uh, torque servo these are from KST and yeah it's great all right I'll continue working on the motors
All right, both motors are installed and they look great. Uh, super strong, I'm happy with that. And here reinforce this with two layers of carbon. Uh, thrust tube is carbon fiber, this is just one layer carbon. And there's a second layer in here and on here just to reinforce this. And these are the EDFs. We will have four of these Schubler, the DS215s. These are monsters. We will have plenty of thrust on the C17. I am so happy with the results, despite that I was really questioning that those are the balance are too thin. But uh, you know, all these layers of carbon fibers they made it really strong. And uh, from the front here, uh, this looks ugly. The carbon was a bit short, but it's still the fiberglass reached that. It's connected to the, you know, the intake. This is all good. And uh, yeah, so I just want to put it on the fuselage. I only have one wing done. The other nacelles are also, one of them is ready. We'll cast the other one tomorrow and then glue them on the other wing. But I want to get the video uh, out for you guys so you can see it. So I will end the video on this one. I will put just this wing on the fuselage so you guys can see it. And the next one, I will uh, maybe cut the hatch in here. Uh, we're planning to make it like a big hatch. Has to be big all the way here so we'll have the batteries and uh, all the electronics inside but i'll have to wait until i finish the other wing and put the edf so we can at least see the cg approximately where the batteries are going to be then uh, i'll decide where the hatch is gonna go i'm expecting it to be somewhere in here where the batteries will go in here that would be actually great because the hatch would be nice here on top so in the next video, uh, I might cut the hatch and start uh, installing the wires and the connections inside. Uh, maybe install the landing gear base and the nose as well. We just still don't have a landing gear. The landing gear is being designed. It's, it's going to be bane to make that landing gear. It's very complicated and we're making it really scale. And so we won't have the landing gear for, I don't know, minimum a month or something. Uh, it's, it's, being, it's being manufactured now. So when, when it arrives, we will have at least the base for it. We can just screw it in and uh, have it ready to go. We might also cut the doors and uh, yeah, stuff like that. Alright, I think uh, that's it for this video, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye bye.